Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cactus dish with poached eggs. Nopales can be found in your local grocery store depending on where you shop. They're also great for people with diabetes, high blood pressure, or they're great for weight loss because they are very low in calories. I'll be going over the ingredients as we go, but I will list them in the description for you. So take a seat and let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna boil the cactus or the nopales. I have four cups that are cleaned and cut. I filled up the stock pot about halfway, a little bit less maybe. And we do this so we can remove the slobberiness of, from the nopales. I'm also gonna add half an onion one garlic clove and a tablespoon of salt and we're going to boil them for about 30 minutes while we're waiting for our cactus to be done we're going to roast our tomatoes and our serranos i'm going to use six tomatoes six roma tomatoes and about five serrano peppers now the serrano peppers can be a little spicy, so if you don't want it too spicy, you can use less serranos or you can replace them with the regular jalapenos. We're gonna keep a close eye on them, turning them often, and making sure they don't burn. Now I'm gonna remove them, now that they're all toasty. And then we're gonna wait for them to cool down before we peel them. Meanwhile, we're gonna drain our nopales because they should be done by now. And I'm gonna place a large colander in the sink and then pour the nopales into it. Then I'm gonna fish out the large pieces of onion and the garlic. Now that the tomatoes are cooled off, I'm going to remove the peel. It should come right off, but if you can't get it all off, that's okay. I'm going to use a fork to hold the tomatoes because they're still a little bit hot. Then once I'm done with the tomatoes, I'm going to do the same thing with the serrano peppers. The serrano peppers can be a little spicy, so if you prefer less spice, you can substitute them with regular jalapenos. Now to peel the serranos, if you feel more comfortable, you can use gloves, that way you don't have it on your hands or just make sure to wash your hands really good after you peel them. Now that we're done peeling them, we're gonna make the sauce. We're gonna place the tomatoes and the serranos in the blender. We're gonna add the remainder of the onion and two large garlic cloves. And we're also going to add two cups of water. Now we're going to blend it until it's nice and smooth. In a large skillet, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Then I'm going to pour in the sauce. Then once I have all the sauce in there, I'm going to add a cup and a half of water to the blender. I'm going to shake it around a bit just so we can get the remainder of the sauce that's remaining in there. Then I'm gonna add it into the skillet. I'm gonna add my spices. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt, some cumin, ground oregano, some chicken bouillon, or you can use all season spice. I used both. Now we're going to stir it in, then we're going to wait for it to boil a minute or so, and then we're going to taste it. And if it needs more seasoning, you can add more if you wish. Now we're going to add in our cactus, and we're going to let it simmer for about 5 to 10 minutes. Now that it's been simmering on medium heat for 10 minutes, we're going to add our eggs. I'm going to add 4 eggs, you can add more if you wish. You can crack them right into the pan, but I like to crack them into a small dish and then dropping it in. 
Then I'm gonna scoop up some of the sauce and pour it over the egg just to drown it so the top can cook as well. Then once we have all our eggs in there, we're gonna cover it and we're gonna turn it down to low heat and we're gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes or until the eggs are done. And once it's done, you can enjoy it with your favorite side dish or by itself. I usually serve it with a side of refried beans. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, share with your friends and family, and don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching.